The disease is just one more worry for those struggling to get by. Good evening, I'm Nia Wong. And I'm Aaron Luna. SNAP serves thousands of people in need of energy assistance each year, but says this past month has been a lot slower than usual. 4 News Now reporter Katerina Krasovis is live with more information on how they're hoping to prevent the spread of that virus. Katerina. Well, I spoke with employees who tell me that they've already put new procedures in place and it's all in an effort to help their clients as well as employees feel safe. This is Kelly, how can I help you? On a normal day, SNAP of Spokane serves hundreds of people every day. But lately, it's been a little slow. We just know that everybody's concern is heightened regarding the virus that's going around. Regardless of COVID-19, Carol Welts, Director of Community Action with SNAP, knows the need for assistance is still there. We just want people to know that uh, that they can still make an appointment and be safe. She says they've already made several changes, starting with their reception area. So we've just decided we can close the glass, and we have a you know message on there that says this is closed, you know, just to help with prevention. If people are coughing, we've got masks out front that they can put on. It's all in an effort to protect not just customers but employees as well. So we're wiping down in between uh, clients, you know, wiping down doorknobs. So really hyper aware of things like that. And we should be anyway during this time of year. If you still have concerns, there are other options you can choose from that don't require leaving your home. People who are scheduled for appointments tomorrow, we may call them today and say, hey, we have got you scheduled. Will you prefer to do that on the phone today? Because Welt says their main priority is to offer assistance to those in need, no matter what. I think it's just a way to say we hear what you're saying, you know, and we honor your concern and we, you know, we want to be able to help you. Now, if you'd like more information on this topic, we have all of that available on KXLY.com. Erin Nia.